I am here with Sensei Kim herself, Alicia Hanna Kim. Thank you so much for, for talking to us today. We're here in the uh, picket line for the WGA, the Writers Guild. Um, so tell us about why, why you're here today and why it's so important for everyone to see what's going on. I'm here to support Team Cobra, I think. I hope oh, you're I'm... here to support <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thomas E. Griffin. Support Thomas. <laughs> you know, want Thomas with Paul of Man of the Universe. No, I'm here because, you know, it's really important. We, our show, obviously, is Hold the Production because of the strike, and our showrunners are out here, our writers are out here, and so it's really important um, for our show to come together in solidarity, and I hope that we can get a resolution to this situation. It's really unsustainable and untenable for all the workers you know, to be on the street and having to pick it. So I'm hoping that we're able to move forward as soon as possible. But until then, we were here like a sign right here. <laughs> <TV show. laughs> yeah. uh, well, now you did such an amazing job playing Sensei Kim in season five. We were introduced to her. Um, what can you say about that experience so far? And can you tease anything about what's to come in season six? Um, the experience was uh, incredible. I mean, I think any fan of Cobra knows uh, how iconic this fun this show is. And also, you know, behind the scenes, how warm everybody is on Pond Sec. And so the minute that I got there, I was embraced. And that was really, you know, it was exciting or thrilling. And then obviously, Kimmy Nadar is a really extreme person to play, which is fun because um, just get to live out all of your darkest emotions with onset. Right. So I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and what's to come? I don't know if I can say a lot, but I was just telling you that it's going to be really big. I think that fans will be really satisfied. I, I know that the show Rebel is pretty putting together the biggest, baddest season yet. Um, and I've seen, I've seen a little bit of what's to come, so I'm excited, but... Th that's great. And then we saw him briefly, Thomas C. Griffiths yes. just said hi. Yes. Um, yes. What, what was that like? Because the two of you were such a dynamic duo. Yeah. What was that like working with him? We had the most fun. I mean, he's just, he's like the loveliest, most delightful person, as you just saw. Um, I think it's really funny that we're so sort of evil on screen and then behind the scenes, we're just like two little marshmallows. Like <laughs> you know, like, right. Just like squishing around in the corner of the <laughs> You know, I, it's an honor to work with someone that's so venerated in the Yagi back and people will love his character, you know, there's a lot of history. I think it's also really interesting as a warm-up to play someone you played 30 years ago and then you're, you're back here and, and exploring that storyline still. I think that is what we need, you know, to, to make this, you know, to try to keep it going. Yes. Well, on that note, have you thought about the possibility that you may play Sensei Kim in the future as well. I would love to. I yeah. may be, make myself available and be available to play this character. I'm really, I don't know if I can even articulate how fun it is. And and the showroom has created somebody that was incredibly powerful and empowering, but also really fun to mm -hmm. play. You know, there's, there's a lot to unravel with her. And, you know, she's got a lot of problems, <laughs> which we'll delve into in the reading season. So. Yeah, I would always be available to pray because I can. I love her. She's crazy. She has great hair. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Better than me. She's ripped to your really extreme pattern, though. Yes. She travel to in like private jet, which is you know not climate friendly. <laughs> I wasn't too pleased about. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, no, I love her. That's wonderful. Well, Alicia Hanekim, thank you so much for talking today, and we are all so looking forward to seeing you in the future on Cobra Kai. So. Coming out and covering the strike. Of course. I want that um, fans know why the show is in the production and why we're out here. Yes. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much.